Hi, I'm Liz. I go by Stitch by Liz with an underscore over on Instagram. And welcome to Floss Tube. I should really check what numbers they are. I think it's 23. Don't hold me to it. Um, today is Friday, the 3rd of February, 2023. How are we already in February? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, if you are new, welcome. We've had a little bit of an influx of subscribers and it's amazing. I love it. Thank you all for subscribing. Um, if you are returning, welcome back. You know the deal with the Hot Mess Express. That is me. Um, I'm wearing my Lord Nerd sweater today um, because it's freezing. Uh, if you don't know what Lord Nerd is, um, one of my absolutely favorite, if you heard that, that was my stomach, my absolutely favorite YouTubers is um, a lovely lady called Emily D. Baker. She is a um, law tuber. Anyway, she's amazing. Purple hair. She was a former prosecutor in Southern California. Now she does um, like reactions to like courtroom. Anyway, I'm watching a live murder trial from the States for the past few days and she's commentating on it and it's been incredible. Anyway, it's just the story behind my jumper. Fun times. Um, what have I done over the past few weeks? Nothing. It's been, work's been really busy. Uh, we have a couple of trials coming up. Um, we've got some file cleanup to do. It's just a lot of work. Um, which is fine. I don't mind it. It, it makes my days fly. Yesterday flew. Yesterday flew like, I don't know what. It, it just literally got to work and I blinked and all of a sudden it was time to go home. Um, but I got so much done yesterday. Anyway, you don't need to know, you don't need to hear about like how much work I do. Anyway, it's been busy. Um, the next few weekends are going to be absolutely chaotic. Um, I'm filming today because tomorrow is my cousin's 30th birthday. We have two events tomorrow. So we're going there for a bit and then we're going to another event straight after. Um, so that's going to be crazy. And then the weekend after my sister's moving from her apartment. So we're helping her move. And then the weekend after that, it's her birthday. It's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. But there have been some like really exciting things. So first up, um, the Frogwarts year four boxes uh, sales have closed and registration emails went out and the group is active on Facebook for those that bought it. So make sure you check your emails to uh, register for Frogwarts. Um, get, uh, get those filled in. Um, if you want to do our post, so if you, um, want sort of like a buddy or a pen pal, sign up for it. I've signed up. So hopefully I will get a first year. Um, but if you've got any questions about Frogwarts, um, feel free to ask. I am planning to do a video. I just haven't had time to hash it out and film it. Um, but registrations for that closed and, um, the group opened and everybody's doing introductory posts and I put mine up with my um, unpaid editor slash supportive husband. Um, it was a photo of us at Universal in Hogsmeade for the first time. What you can't see is me losing my tiny mind um, in, that, in that photo. It was incredible. I can't wait to go back. Actually, it's 360 seven days until we go back to America. We were meant to be going in November, 2023, but we've pushed it to February, 2024. And I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I know Ross is too. Um, so yeah, Frogwarts is boxes have closed. Registration is, um, have been emailed. The group's open. I'm so excited. Like just bring on July. Frogwarts is like, I think one of my most favorite times of year. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be so incredible and I just cannot wait. Um, if you don't know, Frogwarts is hosted by the Black Needle Society. Um, I am a rep for the Black Needle Society. Um, the vault is open. So, uh, the items from the January Cozy Kitchen Stitching Box have gone into the vault. If you do purchase anything from the vault, use code STITCHBYLIZ5 to get yourself 5% off. Um, there is a few... As of me checking this morning, there were a few 
uh, Garden Life stitching boxes still available. The code works with those as well. Um, I don't have my January box yet. It got a little bit waylaid, so hopefully, um, hopefully that should come soon ish fingers crossed um but yeah so that's there's a few garden life stitching boxes in the vault so if you want to get the march box um go into the vault order use code stitch by liz five get yourself five percent off um and then the next box is stitch like a flamingo i think it's called I'll, well, I'll get Ross to put up a picture um, and that is going to be May's box and obviously the queen of flamingo patterns is designing for that one um, which I absolutely cannot wait for because hands-on design is one of my favorite designers so I'm so excited um, it's gonna be so much fun um, so yeah I think that's that's pretty much what's been happening I'm like I can't wait I haven't done, I've like my stitching's been like not great, but <clears throat> um like I've got a few for, few projects to show, but like for me I haven't stitched a lot. So um I'll just get into it. I do have a new start. And the new start was like you know sort of planned. So I was I saw Mel Rouvray stitching the steady thread um, black work stitch along for 2023 and there's two different layouts so there's a square layout and then there's a, a circle layout and they're all hexagons um, and as soon as I saw the, the layout I'm like this is the most beautiful thing I've, I've seen like it's stunning um, so I saw her planning to stitch it so then I joined the face actually she, I, I joined the Facebook group she invited me to the Facebook I can't remember anyway I joined the Facebook group got the patterns and then Alex over at Chasing Alex and Three Cats Stitching. Her name has flown out of my brain. Um, had decided to do it on February 1st to start filling in the little hexagons. Um, but we got we started doing the border a little bit early. Now, I haven't started filling in any of the hexagons because, you know, with what time have I had to do that? Um, I do have a couple of hanging threads. Um, but this is where I'm up to. So I've done a few hexagons and I've done some of the border. Um, I'm going to come in a little bit. So this is on an 18 count volcano stitching fabric. It is unnamed. It's in one of the treasure troves. And like, I cannot get this. I cannot do this, this fabric justice. It's like, it's like a green. Eh, that's probably as accurate as it's going to get. But like the thread is absolutely incredible so i am using silks for you unnamed silks from a bits bag that i had um and i do have them next to me uh so my borders the leaves are done in don't focus on me focus on the thread drops what is happening with my autofocus okay it's not gonna work is it no so my there we go. <laughs> My borders are being done in this like blue, purple, variegated silk. The hexagons are being done in this green, brown, purple, variegated silk. And then I'm going to do all the leaves and flowers with these three, these four. There's four here, Liz. Count. So there's like a variegated purpley red, a variegated maroney pink, green for the leaves and stems, and then like this variegated purple. There was a hot pink, but the hot pink won't, won't work. So like with these, this fabric and this, these silks, it's just going to be amazing. I cannot wait. Um, I really need to, you know, start start filling in some hexes at some point um but yeah that's stitched i did say on an 18 count volcano stitching fabric um 
yeah, so I, that's my new start. I did have a finish, but I can't show you the finish because it's a smalls for the Summer in Stars Hollow Smalls Exchange. It is something completely out of my wheelhouse that I have stitched. It's not me vibes. Like, it's not witchy stitcher, something like that. It's very spring. Um, the colors I went with are very prim. Well, I went with one color. It's a silk, but it's variegated and it's very prim. Um... I love the way it looks. It looks incredible. Sorry, it's next to me. Um, I haven't FFO'd it. I do need to FFO it. And then I do need to get it over to Morgan, who is Honeybee Stitcher. Um, because we're, uh, three of us Aussies are just all together sending one parcel to the States because shipping is crazy. So um, I need to FFO that and get that packaged up with um, a needle minder because I'm also doing the needle minder exchange. Um, and get those over to her so we can get them sent off to the States in time for when the boxes ship. Um, the summer in stars, summer, spring in stars hollow retreat is in April. Um, I already have taken a couple of days off work for that because, you know, it's a B&S retreat. Why not treat yourself? Um, so yeah. I can't show you my finish, but when I FF finish it, and like when I FFO it, I'll take a video and then once the recipient, oh my God, my stomach, once the recipient has received it, um, I'll be able to show, um, show the video of, words are hard, man. Um, I'll be able to show you a video of what it looked like and what I did. Um, again, I'm not going to show you the needle minder that, that is going as part of the needle minder exchange because I don't want the recipient to see that just in case they do like it's completely random I don't know who's getting what but let's no spoilers people no spoilers um all right I have also worked on my temperature chart it's not completed for January now that I have all of January's numbers I will finish it off today um I again do not have something to put behind it because I'm not organized but this is so far for January now Australia is in summer Someone explained to the weather we shouldn't be having these blues. Um, these blues are like 17 and 18 degrees Celsius, which is, you know, not a fun time because compared to the 37 degrees and 38 degree days that we, had, we have had, it's like frigid cold. Um, there's a couple of like the yellows are like the low 20s Celsius. Um, and then like the next one, two, three, four, five. The next five days, the hottest temperature was 34 and the lowest was 21. And then it's even colder today. I think today's only going to be like 16 degrees, 17 degrees, something like that. Um, that is stitched on an 18 count black because it's my favorite. Um, needle minder is from Ginger Stitch AU. And then these are my colors that I'm using, which I love because they're so bright and colorful. All right, next up, because I'm not prepared and haven't unzipped things, I worked on Autumn in Stars Hollow, which is from Katie Landis from the Black Needle Society. This is what it looks like. This chart is available in the vault, stitched by Liz Five for 5% 5 off. <laughs> um, yeah, this one's available in the vault. Uh, the other ones will not be available until all the retreats are finished. Um, so that's what this looks like. I'm stitching these individually. Um, they're normally, you can stitch them in a row. Um, I'm doing mine individually. Mine are all being done on an 18 count white because 18 count white is life. Um, I do have, I, I have a dangle, I have a thread. Why do I have a loose thread? That's concerning. Um, <laughs> this is where I'm up to. So I really do not have much left to do um, and I absolutely love working on these and I really want to get them finished before spring so I have until April I'm over I think this one I'm over 60% done so I have this background to fi fill in behind Kirk and Cat Kirk background for Copper Boom and then just all the details in here and the reason this is a lot of confetti stitching like with the holes on the gazebo. 
um, but I absolutely love, love working on this. My noodle mino is in the middle, but I love it. It's amazing. Um, and I've been watching Gilmore Girls, so I'm doing my annual rewatch, um, which is super exciting. That, when I worked on it, got over a thousand stitches, so I did not bat on that. Um, post that, it sort of went a little bit downhill. So next up is in the Summer in Stars Hollow project bag. Um, and this, I just watched this episode recently um, that is on the bag. Where's my chart? My chart is not in the bag. Um, one moment, please. Can I do this? No, I can't. It's it's too far away. That's fine. Um, I will get Ross to insert a photo. Um, yeah, I was watching the... So the bag says roll out those lazy, hazy, crazy days of summer, those days of soda, pretzels, and beer. And I just watched that episode. And every time those bar, that barbershop quartet song gets stuck in my head for, like, days. And I'm like, not this year, people. Not this year. And it didn't. I was so happy. It was amazing. Anyway... Like I said, Summer in Stars Hollow. Um, this one is over 50% completed. Not as far as autumn, but still amazing. And the colors in this, this pink, this pink in here that I'm working on is so bright. And I love it. I love the colors in this. It's just everything's so bright. So I only have this section here to do, which is a lot of background. Daisies for the thousand yellow daisies. Um, the other half of the gazebo with the barbershop um singers on there and then just a little bit of background and i've got one more balloon to do um the only change i made on this is for the balloon strings i used a variegated dmc um that's like pink cream and blue so some of them you can't even see the stitches but um when the background goes in you they'll they'll pop because um, i just didn't want to do the white i wanted to do something a little bit different so that's where this is at um, this got less than a thousand stitches when I worked on it because life was busy. <laughs> um, all right, next up is in a pink version of the purple bag. Um, I also don't have a photo of this one because this was a freebie chart from Stitcherella. Uh, and it is small world. It's a small world. Um, this was my final whip go goal for January and I did meet the, that goal. <clears throat> I'm going to fold it because... I haven't gone too far on it and then this is where I'm up to so I'm working down to reach the bottom corner I'm not too far off um, but when I did work on this it's got over a thousand stitches too it's got over 1100 stitches it's got some solid progress so I did all the purple in here I did this whole roof I did this roof and then I did the lines um, so that was that's as far as I'm up to. And I love, absolutely love working on this. It's so much fun. It's so bright. It's so colorful. Um, the background. So this is a two over one full cross on 18 count. And then the background is two over one tent or half stitch. So like the buildings just pop. I absolutely love this. I, this, I love working on this. This is so much fun. Um, and yeah, like I said, this is a free pattern. It's available on her um on the facebook group which is amazing um after that i finished my start summer uh, my spring in stars hollow small um i finished that on the 27th of january uh and then i decided to pull out dark queen of the earth by autumn lane stitchery it is the stitch along for 2023 um i am stitching this on a 16 count Fantasy by Fibalicious using the called for threads uh, and I worked on part of part three just to finish the bottom of her dress and then I started working on part four which is the vines and this part in here so I'm actually working on part four and I'll finish part four on this side before I finish part three on this side and part five and then part six actually has us going up and doing the top of her dress um, or like the corset and then the, an extension of the vine that, that goes along up here. Um, I love working on this. Excuse my thread. 
but I love love working on this it is so incredible like I love autumn lane charts autumn lane is probably tied with witchy stitcher for my favorite designer like I just adore everything that they do and Aaron's color theory is insane like this stitching this close up I'm like this looks like nothing looking at it in the camera I can see the twisting trunk like it's just it's incredible like even stitching the dress I'm like this does not make sense it, the colors don't make sense with the shadows and then you look at it and it's like well no it makes sense like it's incredible um and now all the bits where the holes are that will all be beading I just can't wait this is just it's incredible I love working on this I'm well far behind part six came out yesterday um and I really need to do some work on it so I'm undecided what my February focuses are going to be. Um, I'm very tempted to do Dark Queen and then alternate it with what, something from my wheel and my Whip Go goals for, um, for February. Um, so what I have been doing since the 1st of February, so for two days and then this morning, and I've been working on huge fan of space from wild violet stitches um this is in the q snap i'm not taking it out because i'm actually working on it <laughs> i literally done more stitching this morning before work than i have in the past two days <laughs> like it's crazy i literally have been awake since 20 to 5 a.m this morning so that's probably why but i do have a hanging thread i'm not going to move it because like i said i'm literally stitching this at the moment um, and this is where I'm up to. So this morning I f did most of the P, the A, the C, part of the E, this little thing, the, some of the yellow here, and then I'm starting to work on a planet here. Um, and this is on an 18 count back in black by Color Cascades and it's an opalescent, which I think is amazing for the space theme. I love it. Giant scrunchie is made by me. Um, Needleminder is from Ichi Stitchy. Um, it's not available anymore. But I love this. So I started this at the Black Needle Society Novels and Needles Retreat event last year? Sure, I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was last year. I started this at 3am. Um, wasn't a smart choice to start um, something on black opalescent fabric at 3am but I absolutely am loving this. This is 50% done, over 50% done now. So I'm like so excited to just get this finished and I'm tempted to just work on it, to get it finished, but then at the same time I get bored. So I'm gonna continue working on it for the rest of the day and then tomorrow will be a whole new project. How exciting. Um, That's all I've got for my stitching. I did receive happy mail though in the post and I'm like, Thank you. It's amazing. So I don't have haul because I'm not meant to be purchasing anything or I'm not meant to be pur purchasing charts. Um, I did. I do have a um, little order coming from Ginger Stitch AU literally this afternoon. Um, it's just started to rain. So if you can hear that, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm going to have to show you that in my next video, but I will pop it up on Instagram. Anyway. I did get happy mail um, and it is from the lovely Mel Rouvray. She's on Instagram. Um, she asked me if I wanted the 12 days of resistance charts from uh, Forbidden Fiber Co. Because uh, she had stitched them and she wasn't going to stitch them again. She asked if I wanted them. Um, and I did offer to pay her, but she said no. And she sent me all 12. And I love them because I missed this. I missed ordering this box and I was shattered. Um, I cannot wait to stitch these. These are so cute. They're, they're just amazing. She sent me a lovely note. What she also included was a piece of 18 count fabric that she found in her stash. And she doesn't stitch on 18 count fabric anymore. And she sent it to me because she knows it's my jam. And it's this oh, beautiful beautiful blue mystic fabrics fabric and it is stunning like honestly it's just I'm just eh. it's just lovely like it's just so nice 
Um, and I can't wait. I can't wait to stitch um, stitch something on this. Like, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you very, very much, Mel. Um, and then my last piece of happy mail happened yesterday while I was at work. And I had to hold in the tears. And I'm like, I'm on the verge of crying like tears walling up in my eyes but I posted yesterday on my Instagram story that um, um, a chart that was shared by Patchy at, Patchy at best I think it is Patchy and Co I have no idea if I can I have a picture I'll put it up on the screen um, I shared it on my stories yesterday morning and I'm like I am on a pattern buying bet because I'm not purchasing patterns this year. So I'm using my um, my BNS planner and I'm like, there's a wish list page at the start of every month. So I'm like writing things in and I get a message from my best friend saying, Merry Thursday. And she bought me the Gilmore Girls pattern that was just released. And I'm at work at lunchtime and I'm like, hold it together, Liz. People do not need to see you cry. So to my bestie, you know who you are. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it so, so much. Um, honestly, my best friend's like the most incredible person on the planet. I could just, I could go on forever. Um, but like she absolutely made my day yesterday. It was just the most amazing surprise. And it was just, I'm not allowed to buy myself patterns, but she bought me one and I can't wait to start it. I literally took everything in my willpower not to start it yesterday. Um, so thank you again very, very much. It was, yeah, so nice. Um, okay, before I start crying, because I will, um, I'm going to wrap it up. That's all, that's all I've got for today. Hopefully there wasn't too much rambling. Let's be real, there probably was. Um, yeah, that's all I've got. Um, if you did see the post on... Our community page, Ross put up a post um, uh, just asking if there's anything particular you want to see, any changes you want made to the channel. Um, everybody has been so sweet in their responses and most people have said, no, keep it the same. You, you're doing great. Um, and there have been a couple of wonderful suggestions for stuff for me to do in the future, which I'm not sure when I will get them done, but they are definitely on the list of things to film. Um, so we are taking every... Um, every request under under advisement and we're looking into it um but if you do um if you do want to let us know if you want anything changed comment on that um community post uh and let us know um that's all i've got yeah that's it do all the youtubey things like comment and subscribe and i will see you in a couple of weeks bye Oh my god, my stomach that whole video. <laughs>